Welcome to the first in-game developer diary. I wanted to show you what I've been doing with the running and discuss why I'm doing it and, uh, I don't know, uh, get feedback. So, firstly, I decided to go with an asthma mechanic. Uh, the reason for this is because for the enemy encounter, I felt like it was important to uh, provide the player with sort of a beast boost, boost of speed to get away from the enemy, but I also don't want to destroy the pacing. So let me do a little run here. So that's basically the run. Uh, a few things to notice. Firstly, there's a stamina gauge in the upper left hand corner. Uh, that's just for debugging, so I have an idea of what's going on under the hood. But when designing a game system, you basically don't want to show what's going on under the hood. Well, not necessarily, certainly in this case, since I don't want to do HUD or UI. So I'm trying to convey the um, the stamina through the audio. So there's, well, I mean, the audio is all temp. It's me panting into a microphone. But there's basically four different levels of breathing. And then I also sort of adjust the speed, so there's sort of a continuum of panting. So you can sort of have an idea of what your stamina is at any point in time. And of course, once we have real sound design, I think that'll be more obvious. So let's do another little run here. So, once you use up all your stamina, you have like a little asthma attack and you have to stand there and pant. And I feel like that'll work pretty well in the context of a horror game because you essentially might be in a situation where you're running away and something's right behind you and you, you're worried you're going to have that asthma attack and, and get caught by the creature. So I think it works pretty well. Um, however, in general, and, and certainly during the Kickstarter campaign, I expect... It's, it's, uh, expressed my... Uh, reluctance to do a stamina gauge just because it uh, feels crappy. But the other thing that I'm doing interesting, well, let me go back to that. Uh, it just usually it's more of an annoyance than sort of a game changer. Um, but I feel like in the context of this game, it kind of works, and obviously I have to put more time into it and make the whole run experience better, but, like, um, I like the idea that running doesn't get you much other than a momentary boost of speed. So, if I'm go trying to run from one side to the other, well, I probably should have started running, but, like, here, I'm going a little faster, and then, okay, fine, I'll turn around and run. And then I stop, and then I start running, and you start running before your stamina resets, which can be indicated by the breathing. Um, but you'll notice I'm not moving very fast across this log. Maybe you'll also notice the hand animation blending has some issues. Um, but I like it because... I mean, almost like the breathing noise is kind of annoying, and hopefully we'll have better, um, better, uh, audio than me doing it into my crappy webcam mic, but, uh, I like the sort of, um, that it's, it's kind of in your face, and it's, it's not, 
it's it's almost distracting and and hides the potential audio cues so you almost don't want to run unless you need to and i sort of envision like uh well let me do my little cheat here um Uh, we have a little cheat tool, uh, which I can show more, um, so I just teleported to a different hallway, and then let me do another cheat, so now I have a candle, but, so I imagine, like, walking down this hallway, and No. Oh, oh, crap. Well, we're back. I'm sorry, I forgot I didn't have a run animation with the candle yet, so, um, the game crashed, uh, so I didn't get to show you my idea, but the idea was that the ghost shows up, and then you're like, oh, crap, I have to run, and then you're like, oh, my gosh, this run sucks, and then I'm gonna stop and run out of energy. So, I don't know. I think there's some interesting ideas we can do there. Obviously, the animation needs a lot of uh, work, and, and one of the ideas is, um, well, the face is a... Well, t just the eyes are a separate animated character, so you can see him standing, and then he'll occasionally blink or look around nervously. And so that plays um, regardless of what you're doing. Uh, so it's kind of cool when you're walking around. It looks kind of stupid when you're running. Um, but I think we're gonna have to split the entire face into a separate character, and then we can have the mouth animation, um, while you're panting, while you're running, and while you're regaining your stamina, because even after you run, uh, it takes a little while. I'm sorry, after you stop running, it takes a little while before you catch your breath, and I think uh, reflecting that in the face would be cool. So anyway, that's sort of where I'm at with running. It's, it's pretty early, I'm not sold on it, uh, which is why we haven't put a lot of time into cleaning up the animations, but I think it's... Uh, promising and, and hopefully it'll work out otherwise um, maybe I'll cut running or yeah I don't know maybe I'll maybe the alternative is cutting I don't uh, the stealth idea is neat but I don't think I can make it work in all situations but maybe we'll have some enemies that detect you based on your um, noise you're making so that's my first in-engine uh, developer diary. Hopefully the next one will have less crash bugs.